Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to part two of our ICBM co-op gameplay with Wolfpack 345, Tortuga Power, and Finnish uh, Jaeger. Uh, this is a multiplayer session where we played against the AI primarily, uh, and in this episode, part two, this will be the conclusion of the series where the nukes will start flying. Uh, Wolfpack is playing as Russia, Tortuga as the Pacific, and Finnish as Europe. Up, and we're all on a single Discord call here while we're playing, so you hear a lot of different voices. Uh, some of the audio is me talking directly to you, the audience, or the live stream that was occurring on my Twitch channel, and some of the audience it, or the audio is us talking amongst each other. Um, I have push to talk on, so you, I'm not always talking to them. Sometimes I'm talking to you, although there's a fair bit of bleed over, uh, so it's not quite as... Uh, discoursey with with me and the audience as as usual. With that being said, this is part two of the series taken from a live stream. I'm gonna go ahead and shut up now and turn it back over to the game. Strategy is gonna be to focus on SSBNs, which are gonna be focused on hitting West Asia, the Pacific, and Russia eventually, and maybe the U.S. My, but my goal is to keep these things located inside my waters so they can replenish their their SLBMs once they launch, and they should have long enough ranges, I think, from here that we can hit uh, a lot of targets from within friendly territory. Because the problem is the way the game treats SSBNs is they actually have to be on the surface when they're firing their weapons, which is obviously not very historically accurate, but it's done that way for balance reasons, so. I see the fleet moving, Wolf. Yeah, I got two destroyers heading south towards Cape Town, and then my carrier group is here as well. Just two destroyers by themselves? Yeah, I'm hoping they'll be able to make it down the coast. Yeah, I mean, those would be good against submarines, but God, their their carrier task force just ripped my entire yeah. fleet apart. Yeah, they're going to rendezvous with my carrier task force. I'm going That's to plan anyway. start changing my research I have a priorities. carrier task force I just made, but they are just leaving from Brisbane. I'm going to start changing my research priorities a little bit. It'll take six minutes for them to reach... Oh my god, Malaysia. <laughs> this is going to be a slow going. Someone just posted in my chat, war crime time. I don't know if it's a war crime here. This is, all seems totally legal. All right, my destroyer is going to follow yours, Wolf. Okay, thank you. And then I have three subs at the Strait of Gibraltar already. So they'll move south. All right, our space radar is almost done. I'm only doing one of those, right? And then we're going to move I hope none experience. of these AI countries have uh, ASAT weapons. Well, the, the, the cruisers are the primary ASAT platform, I believe, right? Or do SAMs carry them also? I think SAMs can carry them as well. Get your bombers in the air, Tortuga. West Africa has arrived. It's good to see that my SAMs kind of take care of themselves. Yep, one one hit, one kill. I need to get Sam's up around some of my more important cities too. Mervs are almost done. That'll be nice. I don't have any platforms to He's shoot them not from. Going to... I don't know if I can follow uh, units that aren't your own. Oh, I don't think I need two space radars. Oh shit! Did I not research any? Sp oh, I canceled the only. Do I need space radars? I don't know. Is the only thing that space radars are useful at is detecting enemy satellites and helping target them? Does anybody know? I'm sorry, repeat please? What do space radars are they used for other than detecting SAMs? Or, or s satellites? I think that's their, their main purpose. Yeah. I don't know if they do anything else. God. 
I'm surprised at how little West Asia has along their border. Oh, Wolf, turn around. Why? You're, there's, what, Africa just spawned a, a carrier task force near Casablanca. Oh, I see it, yeah. Um, did someone launch a nuke? No. The music would change. It, just it did change. Not for me. Uh, yeah, finish. You're launching nukes. Those aren't nukes. They aren't? No. Oh, the music's very dramatic for this, then. Those are just medium-range ballistic missiles. Research complete. Wait, MRBMs have nukes on them. Do they have conventional also? I'm scared. Mine just, uh, I don't know. Mine say that they're conventional. Okay, I believe you. I mean, that would make sense to have, like, scuds or something. I think that you have to build, like, construct yourself anything which is not uh, conventional. Well, no, but, okay. like, if you build an SSBN, it comes stocked with a full load of nukes. The, uh, uh, the missiles that you have to build yourselves, I think those are the nukes. <laughs> Dig and Cat says, classic, they not nukes. Did the carrier task force go through Gibraltar? Are they dead? Yeah, they're dead. I'm turning back south. Yeah, I mean, if if those were nukes, I think we would have seen a response, right? Yeah, the AI just goes all in as soon as someone launches nukes. What do I want to research next? Enemy submarine's been detected. All right, more uh, African submarines off the coast of Spain, Wolf. Okay, I'm spawning some of my boat, my subs. All right. I'm turning one of them back north. I want another. I think they're both destroyed. But I lost two submarines. Oh wait, that doesn't okay. impact. I think I'm researching. Oh, individual like unit combat's a little underwhelming. Yeah, uh, you have to. It seems like you gotta mass them. Yeah. Does it tell me how long the range is on these things? How do I see how long the range is on these? Oh, I've got a surface, don't I? Yeah, Africa is AI, and they're just basically provoked. Like, you're technically at war with everybody. Okay. That's good. I can hit almost all of Western So they're just Asia sailing around that. looking for stuff to kill. So when do we want to start dropping nukes? How are we feeling? Uh, I think I still want a little bit more time. Okay. Is I there... I haven't, built up my, I haven't worked on SAMs yet, so if the nukes are going to start flying, I'd like to get a SAM network up. Okay. Oh, baby, so I got my... So that means time to go now, right? By the way, that's such a lie. That's so bullshit, Tortuga. <laughs> I can see you've got, like, four SAMs north of Manila alone. Yeah, okay, look, do you, is there any possible way to defend Manila? It is the single... I think it's one of the largest cities in the game, and it's the most impossible to defend. Hmm, good point. Hmm. 
Yeah, go ahead. I mean, there's no way I can stop nukes against Manila. It's, it's, it's also my... worth like 100 and how many Guaranteed points. Guaranteed, the Manila population will be zero at the end of the game. I mean, Tokyo's kind of fucked too, so. Yeah, there's, there's a few of them like that. Yeah, that is weird that they make you... I'm guessing it's just a gameplay balance thing of like, hey, there's no way to defend your territory from submarine launch nukes if you can't find where the subs are. So I think it's more of a gameplay th rationale for making your subs surface than anything. I'm not sure what I need to research still, so to be honest, I think I'm just going to switch almost everything over to construction now to try and speed things up. Whoa, who has a satellite? Was that a Wolfpack satellite? Wolfpack what? has satellites. Good thing I have AS ASATs, so that thing is going to die fast. Rude. Well, I mean, only once our alliance breaks down. It's not even going over you, so... It, my satellites are almost useless. They're just going over the AI. And finished, but I already knew what he had. You see all my SAM sites? Yeah, jeez. Finish sure loves his SAMs. He does. Armags, yeah, this is a fun game. It's a lot of, it's a good way to ruin friendships too, but it, it is a fun game. Trying to build a very quick SAM field here. I have very few nukes though. That's going to be a problem. I've only got two SSBNs. I have no airfields. So when the missiles start flying, we're going to be in trouble. Good to know there. Finishes building SSBNs. We should be yeah. aware. That is yeah, so I. So what's the war plan when we do eventually go to war? I'm still, I need to build a little bit more in the way of SAMs. I'm not really ready yet. But like, are we going to go versus the AI first and stay allied? Or what's the actual plan? Yeah, I think so. And then we'll break our alliances, build up a little bit, and uh, kill each other. Yeah, I, I need time to set a new strike plan between, you know, the, the, from the switch from AI to player. Well, then I don't know if I need to build up my SAMs quite as much on the Russian border <laughs> for the moment, but whatever. Yeah, it's a little, uh, oh, kind of hurts a bit, but, you know, that's fine. I understand. Yeah, I'm trying to build up an outer shell of just a bare minimum of an outer defense in terms of SAMs, and then my goal is going to be to swing them inwards and build some clusters. At least that's my, my plan anyway. Do we think the AI is going to launch a first strike anytime soon? We think that's I hope likely. not. That would be concerning. I have noticed, I feel like the AI doesn't attack quite as early if you weaken them uh, conventionally first. I think that actually delays their calculations to strike. So from here I can still hit West Asia, I can hit a big, big chunk of the Pacific, and I can hit most a much a great amount of russia so these ssbn seem like a really good tactic for the 
for some of the countries that are packed and close together, as opposed to like ICBMs, which seem super vulnerable. Didn't I? Has any cities been attacked yet? Or has it all just been naval warfare? I think it's pretty much just been naval warfare. Okay. Hmm. As I'm focusing on it, naval warfare now. So we've got a cluster of three SAMs around Shanghai. I'm going to build a third SAM down here near Hong Kong. I should build a couple of SAMs near Tokyo as well. So we're getting a little bit of a cluster in here. We've got a cluster of three around sort of the Indian border down here. A bare minimum shield in front of Indo or, um, Thailand. We've got a nice cluster along this near this Russian airbase up here. I'm not actually familiar with the GDP mechanic mags. Well, I see it shows pop in GDP, but I'm not quite sure how the game, like, calculates GDP and whatnot. All right, so we've got a list of three SAMs in front of Tokyo. I think that's probably good now. I think I'm going to switch to SSBNs now. Um... What is Bang Beijing C? I don't understand that. Do you see anything on the uh, eastern side of India, THG? No, the eastern side of India seems almost wide open other than those two radar sites. There's a radar site east of Delhi and a radar site north of uh, Tashkent. Oh, I want to be able to get that far, but I do have a... Uh, be advised, though, there is a carrier task force off of, uh, or just north of Mogadishu. Who's okay. carrier task force? How, how many? Uh, what they have. Uh, one carrier, one cruiser, two destroyers. Oh, yeah, that's the one that got me. That one's deadly. Do we want to try and take structure that out destroyed. before we go to war? Yeah, structure destroyed here, too. What happened? Uh, Africa keeps sending destroyers around. At least over here. Reiner, if you use a tactical nuke on their fleet, will it uh, will it destroy? Will it start the the chain reaction of nukes? There's also a South American carrier task force off of Salvador. There's a dastardly Pacific carrier task force off of India. Yeah, it's the one going to take those uh, radar stations or whatever by Delhi. I was joking. Where's your carrier task force, THG? My carrier task force might have been sunk. Are you going to decide to build a new one? Nope. Well, what are you working on? Research Stuff. <laughs> what are you working on? I'm building more carriers. <laughs> you love your carriers. Because I'm a team player. Why well, didn't know you were going... You were always so big on the destroyer side. I went all in on destroyers. 
Well, you, you can go all in on destroyers, but if you're saying you don't have a, do you have destroyers out right now? Uh, somewhere. I was building subs at the moment. I don't think false warheads can transfer into SL SLBMs. Or do they? Oh, I see. West Asia's gonna murder someone. West Asia? Murder them with what? I don't see like anything. Oh, jeez, yeah. West Asia has a lot of silos. Uh oh. Where are they? Uh, they're in the kind of in the middle near Tehran, Kabul. I can probably reach that. Do they have any? Um, is there anything around there, like around Dubai? Not that I can see. My satellite. My satellite goes right over Dubai. There's nothing there. Okay, so I'll move my carrier task force in. But do you know where the what? Mogadishu there... huge task force is? Naval task force. Yeah. So you know, see that little cape just in, that goes into the Red Sea yeah. near Addis Ababa, just east northeast uh -huh. of that. They're kind of there, just north of that little island. Okay. Off the coast. Wow. Good. Thank you. I almost ran my small carrier and two destroyers into that, so that yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't would, make... would not recommend. Yeah, I'm gonna pull back. As soon as we clear that, I can go over and mess with Dubai. Do they have a lot of SAM? I'm not picking up much in the way of SAMs on their end. Uh, I'm getting scary music. I'm not seeing any missiles though. I would say it's getting close to the period that the AI would usually start. Yeah, I think this is around time. But I don't have any ICBM silos that I can target in West Asia that I can see. Man, the music's pretty intense, huh? It usually goes like high pitch techno when it's. Where are your carriers going, Tortuga? I thought you were going to for the. No, no, we don't want to go. To, we we can hang out in the southern part of India, but we can't go over to like Mogadishu. That's where the big task force is. Even if I come with you, we can't handle it. Um, you have one destroyer. Yeah, with hypersonic weapons. <laughs> it's also damaged. It just. I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm telling my destroyer to follow yours. I just uh, assigned it to your. Phone. I don't think that works. Um, did it work? Finish. Um, what? I I could not get my units to follow um other countries. Units. Trying to build more SAMs here to stop this supposed ICBM menace in uh, in West Asia. What am I researching now anyway? I don't even. I guess we'll focus on subtype research. It is DEF CON in Spirit Lake. It is a little bit more detailed in the sense that it has like an actual tech tree, which DEF CON does not have. Did you see, feel bad for the SAM workers in Tibet? Don't feel bad for them. They're fine. They're fine. They're adequately compensated. I really probably should start building more of these things. Oh boy. He's attacking my subs. He's attacking my subs! Oh my god, that destroyer is just murdering. I just lost three SSBNs to him. Two? 
Damn. to a West Asian destroyer, I think. Where? Uh, just off south of Calcutta. Okay, well, I I can definitely take that out. No, I got him. I killed him in the end. Oh, okay. Oops, wrong thing. All right, what's our ETA on this uh, attack? Can we converge on this surface fleet east of Ethiopia? Does anybody else have any assets in the area? I have some off the... Uh... I have one heading towards Cape Town. It'll be a while till they get up there. Looks like it's going to take like an hour. Finish. Are you um, involved in attacking Africa yet? I've been sinking some of their ships, but that's about it. Well, what I can do, THG, um, if you want to send your destroyer in sacrificially, I can just send a massive airstrike and see if one of my guys gets through. Yeah, tell me where to put it. Just go um, head towards the, the horn, the, the very tip. Away we go. And as soon as I'll just start launching, as soon as I see their forces, I'll just start launching. Are we saying nukes or conventionals? No, I'm going to launch uh, my, my fighters and my bombers off my carrier. Okay, one moment. Okay, I'm going in. Just keep going west from there. Directly west? Yeah, directly west. So not south? That's right. All right, here we go. I think so does by... Oh, that is Mogadishu. I, for whatever reason, I kept thinking Madagascar. Oh, you've got stealth? Oh, there they are. Nice. I don't have stealth aircraft. I haven't been focusing as much on that. Go attack him. Ooh, he's only got phantoms. You guys should wipe this guy. I killed him! I killed him! Yeah, they don't even have advanced they don't have the highest advanced aircraft yet. I did it! I did it! Did we take out those silos in India yet? No, I <sighs> Um Yeah, okay, so I can go do that as as well now. I am the the best. The best around. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> so that's awesome. Your destroyer did not even need to be sacrificed. Told you we could take him. Gosh, a little most pessimist. Over I here. mean, I am very surprised that my carrier took out, what was that, five ships? Mr. Pessimist. We can't do it. We can't possibly do it. Um, TG, if you tell me where they are, I can launch my bombers beyond radar range and just hit something I find there. Can't see anything yet. Okay. Ooh, a South American destroyer near Iceland. <sighs> where did you are guys there... say the ICBMs were? You said they were just west of Delhi? Oh, God. oh my god, I did not mean to god do that. God damn it! Fuck. Are nukes flying? Yes. Yes, someone decided it was time to launch a nuke. I, I'm i sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, leave it pause, please. Yeah. That's Dude, a, they I, should really give you a confirmation. Like, <laughs> are you sorry. sure you want to... <laughs> You bumped the red button. Well, too bad it was yeah. <laughs> Drunk Ivan was just like, whoa, let's launch. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a mishap. Can we not pause? Are we under? Is it unpausing already? No, I'm pausing it. Yeah, I can I can pause it. If we all want to go down, to, if you all want to go down to one speed as well. Yeah, go down to one. Just <laughs> for the next, like, This is why they put those okay. caps over the red button. I see all the silos. Um, I will be destroying all those. Thank you. I mean, it's nuclear war time, though, right? There's yeah, nothing we can do about it. Well, we're we're an alliance, so I don't think that 
No, the, we you, in theory, other. your war plan lets you turn off exclude allies, but yeah, we should ex we should exclude allies from our yeah, strike just plans. Be sure. Okay, it's on it's on pause if someone else wants to use their time control pool. <laughs> Why don't we go down to speed one? Uh, I am pressing speed one, but unless everyone does. Oh my god. Oh, the nukes are flying. Well, once one's out, they everybody starts launching them, Tortuga. Oh, my ASMs are doing nothing against these silos. Sorry, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Oh man. Poor India, right? <laughs> I, I only have. India sure taking a uh, uh, you know, a drop kick there. <laughs> oh my god. SSBNs are pretty sweet. Look at that global pollution score. I have, ex I have exactly one nuke. <laughs> it is off. <laughs> That's all I can do. So I can't hit all of like Saudi Arabia with most of my nukes at the moment. So it might not be a terrible idea for someone to go for like Aleppo and Istanbul, although it looks like there's a nuke over Istanbul from someone. Dude, this is just a rain of rain of fire here. I'm hitting like all these cities for like 25 times. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? No, we, no, no. Uh, we used too many megatons. They drop like huge bombs. Well, this is a disaster. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I drunk I was... Ivan set it off. Yeah. The funny thing is, who's actually badly hurt? It's like mostly North America. Oh, They're really? Getting their I haven't teeth even touched and, North yeah, America. And me. Someone just someone just sank my sub with a nuke, I think. Oh, they're replenishing. I'm just not building nukes quick enough. I was like, why aren't they replenishing more quickly? It's my my damn nukes can't build fast enough. All right, no more research. 100% construction. It looks like Africa actually did get hit. Yeah, they did. I hit him a couple times, but... I got a lot of points. South America got a lot of points too. They must be the ones racking up on North America, right? Oh no, I've been nuked. By who? Never mind. Tell me about it. <laughs> For some reason, they decided to target the guy that launched the first one. <laughs> who would have thought? <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? Are you bombing them with conventional weapons? You can, yeah. I don't know that there's much left to bomb there, Wolfpack. Oh, <laughs> bombing... I'm out of I'm out of other oh. bomb. I'm out of nukes for my bomber, so they're just bombing them. By the way, it was nice that like India didn't have any India and Middle East didn't have any Sams. <laughs> oh shit! ICBMs are coming. Get him! No, they're going. They're going for me. <laughs> well, one was going for you. I think I shot I that down. For me. I've done nothing. Have you ever had dangerous amounts of dangerous isotopes in your system? 
No? Would you like to? Tortuga, have you ever had dangerous amounts of isotopes in your system? I've, uh, I'm contractually obligated not to answer that question. Okay. Fair point. Oh, the nukes are still going? Well, the nukes never stop. Like, the, the game just goes till they're... Shit, I might get hit. This might be the first one that gets through? Nope. When big bombers hitting Istanbul. So SSBN's really turned out to be pretty pretty good for me. I feel like when you're in a situation where you're relatively like if you're North America, they're not as good because you have to return home to be able to reload them. But if you're in like this, you know, if you're on in Europe or Asia or whatnot, when countries are really close together, then they're a lot more valuable. Tortuga, where's that stealth bomber of yours going? Let's head over to Bishkek. Okay. I'm going to use your territory for cover if you don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. Make more nukes. Make them faster. India equals Fallout games. Yeah. yeah. Lightning Dragon posted in my chat. India equals the Fallout games right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Those ABMs are doing pretty good work again. They keep trying to launch against me, but they can't get through my SAM shield. Nuke memes are the best memes. Yeah. Oh, Chicago just got nuked. My real life home just got nuked. Rip. Pretty sure that was you, Wolf. No, what? I haven't. I haven't. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I uh, just dropped one on Phoenix. Rip. Later. Retirement communities just vaporized. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, South Africa's blowing up my boats. They're F 35s. I'm targeting silos in uh, India. Oh, okay, there we go. Get rid of them. Oh, wait, those things are not full. All my satellites are gone, too. I would That's try rough. and send my subs over to South America, but I don't think they're going to get there in time. There's only 12 minutes left in the game. Yeah, man. That, the timer is too soon. Oh, well. This was fun for co-op. No, we can't end it with co-op. I think we should drop the alliances now. Okay. Alliance broken. Alliance, Alliance broken. broken. <laughs> there we go, I guess. I guess we're gonna we're going to war with all our friends now. Although I didn't have many, you know, most of my missiles were were used up. Same here. Good luck. Don't my guys have Mervs? Why aren't they Mervin? Well, some of them do. Damn, Tortuga and his stealth planes coming over. Although my Sams are doing a pretty good job of shooting them down. Do I have more than one of those things? I do. Mm. Oh, I just took a nuke. I was trying to finish in all of his subs. It's rough. They have all the points. Or Moscow. Manila got nuked a few times, but it survived reasonably well, Tortuga. What? Manila. 
Oh, yeah, I mean, if you consider, you know, <laughs> this last 75% of its population. <laughs> wow, THD, you have a lot of points. I do. Merv SSBNs. Not bad. Yeah, those are very good. As long as your your missile can make it to the point where the Mervs split, because then it triples the incoming weapons. The only negative thing is that I guess only the... Um, I think only the ICBMs can have the decoy warheads, which makes them almost indestructible. Production complete. Whoops. Like some of your SAMs there are knocking out some of my SSBN's b missile before they actually break into three. Everybody else went quiet. I guess they're all strategizing their uh, their war plan there off the off camera. Tortuga should really try and nuke Hong Kong with his bombers there. Oh, he just dropped one there. Hong Kong's gone. 10 megaton bomb. Shit, that, that nuke on Hong Kong, Tortuga destroyed the SAMs around it too. Yeah, I can't. Yep, there goes there goes Shanghai. Fuck. Clever little Tortuga with his micromanaging of his his waypoints for his stealth bombers. You really like um, Tortuga? Did you turn off uh, chat? You're not talking to any of us anymore. Just me. No, I'm still here. Did you you really like to go down the aircraft route? Do you ever go any with any other strategies? Um, I played this game three times, and two times I went with the aircraft strategy. I mean, it seems like a good one if you don't have to penetrate too much airspace to get to your targets. Um, Newhauser, I don't have the weapons to take out his SAMs. I don't have any mm. aircraft or anything like that. My plan is at the moment is I'm going to go ahead and turn off my war plan so then I can build up a few uh, SSBNs. The issue primarily is that I just don't have enough weapons. He can hone in on the one target. Um, another strategy might be... Let's try and get... Well, these guys have some weapons, don't they? They do. So let's submerge this guy. Wow. I'm gonna try and get out Looks behind like his uh, SAMs, and maybe I can go after like <laughs> Melbourne or Sydney. Missiles down here. stop flying. Everyone was frantically building them. Yeah, I guess. What is sinking my ships? You've not managed to get a nuke on Tokyo yet, have you? No. You keep, you keep trying to get one there, Tortuga. My SAM yeah. shield held up reasonably well. The biggest city left. I don't think Beijing's been hit. Sending all your fighters off against the ship of mine? Or no, you're trying to overwhelm the SAMs. What happened? Did you you didn't research your air launch cruise missile things? There goes Tokyo. Oh, finally hit it? Yeah, he Boom. sent like his whole air force against it. 
I'm positive in points again. Yeah. The Japanese will Yay. remember, sir. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, the CPU is the second highest at THD. I think, uh, I think uh, we as a collective group should try to knock THD down a few pegs. Yeah. Excuse oh, me. Excuse me. He's nuked, nuked Tokyo, Hong Kong, Shanghai. Point oh, yeah, Tokyo is too bad. To me here at 74 points. I yeah, mean, the point difference is too. No. Oh, we hit 100%. <laughs> I had SSBNs on the way to try and get Australia because you hadn't gotten nuked down there yet, but they didn't quite get in range. It's just like the old uh, cartoon. You guys seen that where Australia is like WTF me? <laughs> just going to break off and do our own thing after the nukes fly. Yeah. I successfully hit 367 warheads. Nobody else came close. Although my megatons were not the most. Tortuga, you love those big bombs, but you only got 40. South yeah, America, wow. I think the real prize goes to Russia, who dropped the first one on accident. Can we can we just say that? Look at the efficiency of South America. They must have had big bombs. Yeah. I just really am happy I finished positive in points. <laughs> look at that yeah, rating. All oh, off to five hundred three. Yes. So THG had seventy nine percent of his population remaining. Heck yeah. Yes. Twenty four and Tortuga had seventy. Yeah, I told, I, I said it too late, but we should have really concentrated on THG, and this is just bragging rights for a while. It was bragging rights after the very beginning, because India was right next to me, so it was easy for my weapon. And they didn't build, like, any SAMs. I think they tried yeah, to build SAMs it, a few funny. times. All their nukes kept going after me. It was lovely. It was great. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, what a way to spend a Saturday night. Actually, I'm, it, I mean, it ended, uh, part of the reason why I didn't do very well at the end there is I was expecting the game to not end so quickly. Um, oh, me neither. I had nothing built. I, I, it was a total I, had, accident. I had zero, I had um, one, one ton, or whatever the, like, the, the atom bomb equivalent. I basically had, like, one big boy, and that's it. <laughs> or oh, small yeah. man. See, I had a bit more than that, but not by much. It was kind of... I assumed you guys like, were I, way I ahead of me. I thought I down a silo, but... I, 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 built, I like, had a nice plan, but just didn't... Ugh, whatever. Well, I feel like out. SSBNs are one of the best investments, because I had like six of them, and that's each one is 12 SLBMs that it comes with, and then I had Mervs on them, so they each had that times three. Uh, I think Finnish definitely took the cake with the, the SSBNs. Maybe, yeah. I, don't, I didn't see... <laughs> Finnish, the whole North Atlantic was just flooded I with I had them. about 15, maybe more, 20. Who did you go yeah. after finish? Because you finished in third. Me. <laughs> he kicked. He kicked a man when he was down. <laughs> That's what you said to do. That's what he did. I first launched at Africa, and then my subs were sailing towards South America when you guys decided that we were gonna cancel the alliance. So I had him turn turn around, and I nuked Wolf because they <laughs> were still a long ways away from South America. Yeah, I was trying to get two SSBNs around because I figured Tortuga's SAM shield didn't really cover Australia. I mean, that might have been a bad assumption. I don't know what you had in Australia, Tortuga. But I was trying to get down towards Sydney and Melbourne because they seem like some of the most valuable cities yet to be hit, but I couldn't get there in time. I think I launched about six or eight missiles at North America, too. But I'm pretty sure I didn't take a single nuke until Tortuga's stealth bomber started hitting some of my coastal cities. Yeah. I really like the subs, but the missile range on the subs is not great. I think it all so, depends on if you want to strategize. Like well, for, yeah, me, I mean, for me, they worked why, because I was just going for India, right? That's why I think this game is really well balanced because um, submarines, obviously, they have a huge benefit. They're stealth. Um, they carry a lot of nukes. They can go. They're mobile. A lot of benefits, right? Aircraft, they can be shot down by SAMs, and everyone's building SAMs because they want the anti-missile capability besides. So it's like an and free defense against aircraft. But then you have um, ICBMs that just, they're really expensive, slow to build, even though you can fire them anywhere in the world, basically. So it's, it's, it's a good balance. If you really focus on ICBMs, I think they can be deadly. The problem is that ABMs are just so Mervs, right? effective. Well, not just the MIRVs. If you get heavy missiles, they can have like huge warheads. And then if you get the, the most advanced tech is the decoy missiles. So then you get like three MIRVs plus decoys. And that, oh, yeah. that always gets through SAM shields in my experience. 
Yeah, yeah, I can see that. That's but those are um, they take like three minutes to build a single missile, so it's still a trade off, right? Yeah, definitely. But I mean, like in terms of if you're going up against a heavy same shield, that's the best thing you can get against it. The problem is you really have to like focus everything on that one tree because you're not gonna. It's like thirty minutes, and it's requires like three or four subtexts to all fly into it. Like it's it's very difficult to get to. Yeah. Well, if you look at the score by military might. Well. Yeah, finish. Well, it was like Fortress Europe over there. It was. He, he had it all, like. I think only London, Madrid, and then Seville. Were nuked. Yeah, I think I. I mean, I lost Tokyo, Hong Kong. Um, Shanghai, oh. and then I think one city in like Malaysia or Burma was nuked, and oh. I think that's it. I mean, I got eighty percent of my population left. Tortuga, you had seventy percent. You just didn't hit a lot. You you didn't take too much damage. Though. And I just did nothing. Well, I have to say though, having having like um played as uh three different nations. No, sorry, four different nations now. Pacific is probably I, I think Pacific is the hardest nation to play as in the game. And the reason why I say that is you can't do any defense in depth. You can't do anything like everything. Every one of your cities is on the coast, so you can't do any kind of defense. Mm -hmm. Well, the AI or if you if you're playing against a human, even it would be tempting to just conventionally strike those cities because then you can start reducing your your production if someone starts bombing you with conventional weapons. Yeah, okay. Like I, I was trying to think how to defend. And like about halfway through this game, I was like, you know what? I'm so stupid. Pacific has to be built as glass cannon. You just have to go like full nukes and not not care about taking losses because you can't defend anything. It's all spread out and impossible to defend anyway. Australia is probably the only you like making a very tight defense around Sydney and Melbourne to prevent everything from being destroyed. In terms of like if you're trying to manage your point losses, might be something you could do. Yeah, I mean with the GDP losses, there is a setting if this is on that your GDP decreases with losses. Um, you probably you probably have to have your nukes ready to go before the first one flies, because then you're dead. <laughs> I'm curious. But maybe people take pity on you, since everyone will just kill you. I'm curious <laughs> how the game will treat, like, if you change it so that instead of points for casualties, it's points for surviving. I'm curious how that might change strategies. Yeah, you can you can switch it to that too. Or like you can do points for getting people killed. That would like I think um, if you did a game where you get the most like the score is purely based on how many people you kill, then Pacific becomes a, a contender again. All right, I'm gonna sign off my stream, guys. So I'm gonna mute you guys for a minute. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do likewise. All right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thanks again for tuning in. I had a lot of fun playing with Tortuga, Wolfpack 345, sorry, Tortuga Power, Wolfpack 345, and Finnish Jaeger from Tortuga's Discord. And obviously Wolfpack is a very large, uh, and, so, and so does Tortuga YouTube channel. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the, the stream. I know I had a lot of fun. Uh, we'll probably play this again sometime. I don't know if we'll do a co-op or if we'll do like dif hard difficulty versus the AI. Uh, that could be certainly something we'd look at. I'm not terribly good at the game, but I have managed to kind of luck my way into, into victories in each of the last games I played on the channel. So all in all, hope you guys enjoyed this, the stream in the series. We'll probably stream it something again tomorrow night. Not quite sure what. Um, Bizarre Andrew, thank you very much. Ooh, wow, five gift, su gift subs, dude. Thank you. Uh, Charcoal Cheetah, enjoy the sub. Uh, Mustiv, thank you, or enjoy the sub. Sadeberg. Dean and Brooklyn Dude all enjoy those subs coming in from Bizarre Andrew. Really appreciate it, dude. Uh, Kawaik84, uh, thank you for the follow. Hey, look a fork, thank you for the follow. Cryotok, thank you very much for the follow. Elo Held, I think you subbed about an hour ago. Thank you for the sub. Uh, Jibba Jabba12345, thank you for the follow. And Wolfpack uh, subbed at the beginning of the stream. So thank you, everybody. Uh, for the support, for uh, coming out tonight. Hope you guys had a good one. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'm out.